Hello everyone, welcome back to round number three of this week's Popper Ponderings. We are playing Timur Soulbound, trying to go two and one, and I cannot keep this hand. This hand is okay, we have Razor of Hunter plus Tandem, Luck plus a Lightning Bolt, I'm going to keep. Fire Slinger, I'm going to put that on the bottom. So if you're just checking in, which is kind of strange, we, uh... What did we beat? We beat Stompy, and then we lost to like a blue-black kind of flicker deck. And it looks like we're playing against Tron, and I'm not sure I like this matchup all that much. But you know what? We are going to put our best foot forward here, no problem. And he, well, doesn't quite have Tron yet. So here, I think, just want to get the Razorfin Hunter out. Yeah, I think that is our best course of action here. He's using these really bad Tron pieces, too. If you use 8th edition Tron pieces, I don't know, man. It's... Mom didn't give you enough hugs when you were a baby, I guess. I don't know. He's got the good... got the right Chromatic Star, though. That's very important. Yeah, this Razor Run Hunter just gets me every time. It's so ridiculous. What's he doing? Prismatic Lens, no third land. We did not hit an untapped land for Tandem Lookout, which is unfortunate. But Thornwood Falls will have to suffice. Now, I don't think we're going to F6 here. It's like actually kind of risky because you get out of mana and like randomly bolt our guy if he senses that we F6. So, not worth it. Really hoping he doesn't get Tron here. Seagate Oracle, yep. Good news here, though, is we get... No! We get our Phyrexian Arena combo online, which is pretty nice. No attacks, but we are going to deal him the damage and draw a card. Sweet. Sweet. Got the combo. Alright, hopefully we don't get too destroyed here. What could he have? He doesn't have a lot of colored mana. Just a mole drifter. Okay. So he's drawn some cards. We're drawing some cards too. We would really like to get a Nightshade Peddler combo going. No attacks. Sure. Another Thornwood Falls. We'll play this. Start off with this Ponder here. There is the Nightshade Peddler. No! Oh, that's not good. Uh, not like to shuffle. I don't know why I did that. It like switched positions on me. That's okay, though. We get to draw a card with Razor Man Hunter, at least. Let's play the Nightshade Peddler. So, yeah, we, we kind of did things a little backwards there. Luckily... Well, we'll see what happens here. There's an Ancient Stirrings. Okay. This is a very powerful little interaction. Scour from Existence. That's pretty aggressive. Targeting the Tandem Lookout. Alright. So many cards in hand still. I'm just going to bolt the small drifter. Uh, yeah, I guess this is fine. Play another swift water cliffs. Cast my own small drifter. Not going to soul bound. Lightning bolt and mole drifter. So those are okay. Just gonna ship the turn here. 
currently doesn't have any good sources of colored mana. There is just a mole drifter though. Expedition map. Probably another. I mean, maybe uh, yeah, an orange source is makes sense here. Into a chromatic sphere. Still no attacks. We're gonna ping him for another one here. There's an evolving wilds. Couple counter spells that we cannot cast. All right, well, we are going to get in here. Put them down to 14. It's really unfortunate we couldn't cast either of those counter spells. If we can make it out of this turn alive, I like our shot, but maybe not here. Rolling Thunder, our entire board is what this looks like. Six. Luckily, we have Pulse of Marassa, which is going to do a pretty good job of helping us get back into this game, especially having two counter spells in hand. Does get in for one. There is a tandem lookout, which isn't the worst draw. I'm just gonna crack this now so I don't have to worry about it. Get a mountain. Play this tandem lookout. Double counter spell up plus pulse of Marasa to get back the mole drifter. I definitely like having double counter spell in hand. Angan Marauder is going to get counterspelled. Fangan Marauder is going to have to get counterspelled. He cannot activate Haunted Fengraf. Which is pretty nice. There's a Fire Slinger, so that is a pretty good draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three. Think. What do I do here? The Haunted Fangraph plus two others. I can get back Nightshade Peddler and then play Fire Slinger. Which seems pretty decent. And then we're banking on him getting back a Mole Drifter. Hmm. Maybe we just get back the Mole Drifter. Maybe. That's a tough call. I'm going to pair pair these two hmm probably just play the fire slinger this is kind of the question here whether or not I pair it oh this is a tough call Back with him not having a removal. Not going to pair. I'm going to... I am going to try and pedal this game. Maybe this is incorrect. Hmm... 
maybe this is incorrect, but I feel like if his plan is to just continue to play big guys. That mold drifter certainly didn't help. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Certainly doesn't feel the best. All right, there's a brainstorm. Let's see what happens. Tandem Lookout, Ponder, Brainstorm. Uh, what we put these two back. Cast a Ponder. Put Cast a Brainstorm. There's the Razorfin Hunter. Crack this. Yep. Got the Fanger Marauder back. Probably just gonna get an island here. And then just ship the turn. The question is, is this good enough? I doubt it. Seagate Oracle. Yeah. The fact that you can draw so many cards is pretty bad for us. Luckily we get to bring in Pyroblast. Mole Drifter, not not good for us either. Still has so many cards in hand. This is a beating. Yeah. Prophetic Prism, another card that draws in more cards. Yeah. Counterspell is not the worst draw. Okay. Certainly something. Yeah, Counterspell was a good draw. Another Haunted Fengraph, though. Another Mole Drifter. Is just terrible for me. Uh, I think I just have to let this resolve. Oh my god. I'm gonna count like rolling thunders at this point. I need this thing, this combo to kinda do its thing. I don't know what else we could draw here. This is looking pretty grim. It has to be like another Razorfin Hunter, which we can pair with the Tandem Lookout. Island is certainly not it. But we will continue on. Only has four cards in hand. At this point, just like a Rolling Thunder just kills us, though.
Then again, like 20 life here, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, this is all bad. Hmm. Man, this deck draws a lot of cards. It's like kind of just the, the, the thing about Popper is... Everything is so bad. But then, look, these, these decks that just draw so many cards, it doesn't matter. Look, this, this is just ridiculous. I feel like what I'm doing is just completely invalidated by whatever I'm whatever they're doing. That has more stuff, too. Jeez. Jeez. Maybe he just decks himself. Maybe I can catch him in time. Maybe I just win that way. That'd be sick. I don't know. Need a good one. Swiftwater Cliffs is not a good one. Yeah, seems like a tough matchup. I kind of said coming in that I don't, didn't think Toronto's going to be a very good matchup, and that seems to kind of be the case here. Chromatic Sphere. If he has double run. Chromatics. He might just run out of cards. I don't know. That would be crazy. That would be best of moments of our ponderings, I think. It's weird that he doesn't get back these Fang or anything. He needs so much like that one turn. He's got to just have a rolling thunder, right? Nine cards left in his deck? Wow. This is insane. I think that when I like play against blue black control the deck's so bad. Oh yeah, here it comes. But I think that the difference between a deck like Tron that just is very, very powerful in what it's trying to do, compared to something like blue black control, where the thing that it's trying to do is actually not that powerful. This is the difference, right? Like Kill a mole drifter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't even kill me. Go to two. Sick. There's a tandem lookout, which means I am dead. All right. Sideboarding time. What do we need? We need probably. Pyro blasts. Probably these hydro blasts. And what we don't need. Hmm. Pulse of morasses don't feel very good. Like shave on a brainstorm, shave on a ponder, shave on a lightning bolt. There we go. Hmm. 
I think this is okay. I think the path for us winning is we need to get this combo online very quickly. Because they go better. They go late, way better than us, so I would like to play first. Sand is fine. I'm going to keep. They kept two, which is not good. Alright, so with water cliffs. Huzzah! Well, that's not a good start for us. Uh, I'll just play this off all in wilds, pass. It's pretty good for us. Get a blue. Play this. Probably play Razorfin Hunter. And ship. So he doesn't have Tron this turn, which is good. Which means next turn we're going to be able to... So we'll have Tron for sure next turn. Swift water glyphs. Yep. He doesn't get to the last piece, so he has Tron. Seven cards in hand still somehow. There's Nitrate Peddler, so that is kind of what we're going for here. So this is definitely the combo that we're looking to construct. Stupid scout, scout resistance on my land. Oh, that sucks. Seven cards in hand, this is just depressing. <laughs> here would be nice no no land okay probably just have to evoke this thing I need to do something maybe we should have left a green up there that was dumb ancient stirrings Yeah, it's kind of what we were afraid of. We might just be dead to that now. We couldn't have the oh. counter spell up. Ugh. Very frustrating. Just need a land, I think. Just mount in, play this thing. So I have to like eat a hit from this thing, hopefully draw a Nightshade Peddler. It's really our only out at this point. Six cards. How does he have six cards in hand? This is ridiculous. Yeah. There's a counter spell. We like play this thing and like block it I guess Ugh. we have to sacrifice hooting mandrels plus swift water cliffs and like hopefully he doesn't have anything to play that's worthwhile
And the turn. All right. Thornwood Falls. Up to five. No, we are dead. All right, guys. That was kind of sad. That was very depressing, but we are dead in the water. One, two with Temer Soulbound. I will see you guys for uh, the conclusion. If you like this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Sorry I couldn't uh, put in a better effort with Temer Soulbound. I think this matchup was bad from the start, but that's somehow it's going to happen. I will see you guys for the conclusion as well as our one packet opening. So I will see you guys back here for the uh, conclusion. Thanks, guys. Uh, make sure you check us out, www.themanabase.com, and I will uh, see you later.